nine black people were arrested in London in 1970 and were facing charges of inciting a riot. These nine people, Barbara Bees, Darkus Howe, Frank Critchlow, Althea Jones Lequant, Rupert Boyce, Roden Gordon, Anthony Innes, Godfrey Millett and Rothwell Kentish became known as the Mangrove Nine. The history of the Mangrove Nine is also the history of the Black British Panthers, who were inspired by the Black Panther Party for Self-Defence in the USA, which started in Oakland, California in 1966 and was set up by Huey P. Newton and Bobby Seale, and by 1970 was a nationwide movement in America. It all started for the Mangrove Nine in Ladbrook Grove in West London, which was known then as the Black Culture Capital of the UK. Frank Critchlow opened the Mangrove Restaurant on All Saints Road in March 1968. It was a community hub and a popular late night spot and what Darkus Howe called the headquarters of Radical Chic. Major artists and celebrities visited the restaurant, including Jimi Hendrix, Vanessa Redgrave, Nina Simone, Marvin Gaye, Sammy Davis Jr. and Diana Ross. The mangrove was a black hotspot. The police didn't like what was going on and there were concerns at a higher level too. Between January 1969 and July 1970, police raided the restaurant several times, citing drug use as their reason to do so, even though no drugs were ever found and Frank Critchlow himself strongly discouraged the use of any illegal substances in his premises. The community had had enough, because the Mangrove Café, as it was known, was their place. It was the place where many famous people came to, but it was the people's place. The community came together and set up the Action Committee for the Defence of the Mangrove, which included Frank Critchlow and barrister Anthony Mohip, Secretary of the Black Improvement Organisation and they organised a demonstration. An open letter written by Barrister Anthony Mohip announced the demonstration and set out community grievances in response to raids on the Mangrove restaurant. It was sent to the Home Office, the Prime Minister, Harold Wilson, Leader of the Opposition and to the High Commissioners of Jamaica, Trinidad, Guyana and Barbados and on the 9th of August 1970, 150 people, accompanied by 200 police, marched on the local police station in protest of the police harassment and discrimination. Conflict erupted during the march, and there were violent scenes. A journalist, Robin Bunce, wrote, heavy-handed policing prompted violence, and the authorities started to build a case against the demonstration's leaders. Paul Field wrote in The Guardian, Home Office documents reveal this was a deliberate strategy to target and decapitate the emerging black power movement. A Metropolitan Police Special Branch report from August 1970 showed that plain-clothed police were around the demonstrators and photographers were set up to make the march look like they wanted it to. The National Archives says these pictures were used by the police to suggest that key allies of the black power movement were implicated in planning and inciting a riot. A story which made all the mainstream news platforms portrayed in a totally negative light. The nine were initially released after being arrested during the demonstration and the case was dropped. But nine weeks later, the Mangrove Nine were re-arrested in dawn raids. The subsequent trial in 1971 was one of the longest trials in British history. It lasted for 55 days. During this time, flyers were distributed by Black British Panther supporters to black people around the Old Bailey Court and in Notting Hill to raise public awareness, which it did. The judge dismissed the possibility of an all-black jury requested by the Mangrove Nine out of hand. This request was based on a call by the Black Panthers in the United States under an interpretation of the 14th Amendment for all black juries. In court, the police justified their targeting of the Mangrove restaurant with descriptions of it as a haunt of criminals, prostitutes and ponces. 
This kind of talk only supported the case put by Darkus Howe and Althea Jones Lequant, who defended themselves, and the case put by the radical civil rights lawyer who defended the other seven of the nine. The case was that racial harassment and discrimination was being carried out on a huge scale in Notting Hill, and that the Mangrove restaurant was being purposefully sabotaged, and that police were treating black people generally in London and the UK as second-class citizens. All of the Mangrove Nine were acquitted of the most serious charges, and five were acquitted of all charges. In his final statement, the judge said that there was evidence of racial hatred on both sides. This is the first acknowledgement from a British judge that there was racial hatred in the Metropolitan Police Service, and it was the first judicial acknowledgement of racial prejudice and wrongdoing by the Metropolitan Police. The Mangrove Nine totally exposed the institutionalised racism in London's Metropolitan Police Force and brought about a movement nationally that continued to do so. Not only did the Mangrove Nine win the trial, they went on as the Black British Panthers to address so many other racist issues and to represent the people on so many fronts. Thank you.